This is little code question number 1188, design bounded blocking cube. This is medium question. Let's get into it. Uh, implement a thread safe bounded block queue that has the following method. Bounded block queue uh, capacity is argument. The constructor initializes the queue with a maximum capacity. Uh, and queue is uh, uh, argument is element. Uh, add some element in front of the queue. If the queue is full, the calling thread is blocked until the queue is no longer full. Uh, next, the queue return the element at the rear of queue and remove it. If queue is empty, the calling thread is blocked until the queue is no longer empty. Uh, size return the number of element currently in the queue. Your implementation will be tested using multiple threads at the same time. Each thread will either be a producer thread that only make a call to the in-queue method, or a consumer thread that only make calls to the DQ method. The size method will be called every, every test case. Please do not use built-in implementation of bounded block queue, as it will not be accepted in an interview. Uh, there are more than three ways to implement the, the bounded block queue. First, uh, we can use semaphore, but it's too easy to implement it. So, uh, uh, this time we will not use it. Uh, second is we also can use, able to use uh, condition of threading and then last is we also use lock from the threading so uh, i will implement the two way first is using condition second is using lock okay let's implement it mm -hmm. <coughs> from threading import uh, condition condition okay first we need to make condition and then also we need Q I will use collection the Q and I will save argument capacity to the object. Okay, first I will acquire uh, this mm -hmm. And then, if uh -huh. if uh, Q is full, Q is full mean is um, self size is same as capacity self capacity. We will self C weight. return length of self queue but this is not one time we need to wait in uh, queue is empty queue, queue is not full so we need to use a while statement and then after uh, queue is not full I will do self queue append element and then notify to all and set release okay because the same first see acquire 
and then file self size is in t self c with the weight and then if there are some element come to q and finally return also and then we, uh, we need to notify to another thread and self c release okay i think i'm done let's check okay good second is we gonna use threading what so there are two things in uh, in Q lock and self T Q lock. And then first to uh, and then for the uh, when it initializes the means Q is empty. At that time we need to lock the Q. Make sense. And then in Q first, I will in Q acquire and then set Q append element. But even this one, if we do not do release, that is not executed yet. So and then we will check self size is the capacity less than capacity we needed to uh, self en release no need to notify all and then release means now there are one more more than one element in q so if self d is locked the Q is lock. We need it to release. Yes. So first is the D is lock, but when <coughs> data is come to the Q and then D need to release. Did it make sense? Okay, good. Now the he acquire and Best and then if size is more than one and then self de release this time also no need to multiply one and then if self in q is lock then means Currently, this one is full, and then when this one is is Q, Q has one space. So at that time, when the increase lock, we need to release. So for Q, let's check. Okay, good. Okay, thank you.